are many different types of submarines. Most of them were designed and built decades ago. Very few new submarines are being built as we speak. But in southern Sweden, Saab Kockums is designing and constructing a completely new generation of air-independent propulsion submarines in a brand new factory using an innovative design and manufacturing process. The new submarine class is just the latest in a long line of cutting-edge AIP submarines from Saab Kockums. To make sure we are designing a truly robust and resilient submarine, we tear down every component and push its limits. At our test center, components are exposed to rigorous conditions to certify that they meet the Navy's and our requirements and keep the sailors safe. In the production lines, welding and joints are tested by ultrasonic measuring technique in combination with X-ray and other tests to make sure that the hull structure can withstand the forces of high pressure and extreme shock loading. Our advanced ultrasonic technique is pushing the limits of what is possible. As a matter of fact, in the 1950s, the technology inspired the world of medicine. The ultrasonic examination method used in hospitals around the world was born in a shipyard. A submarine can be exposed to extreme shock loading due to underwater explosions. We have the technology to generate forces of up to 2,000 G, ensuring that all pressure hull parts and equipment on board can handle dynamic impact. That way, the Navy can confidently expose the submarine with the entire crew on board to a live explosion testing close to the hull. In one of the largest hyperbaric test chambers in the world, large hull modules and structures are tested at pressures of up to 160 bar, corresponding to a depth of 1,600 meters. Saab Kockum's top modern shipyard facilities encompass over 80,000 square meters indoor floor area. The shipbuilding factory is capable of handling all steps in the construction of submarines and naval ships, from design, construction, and assembly to set to work and testing. The shipyard, having several dry docks and a high capacity ship lift, is also used for maintenance and midlife upgrades. Having the Swedish naval base nearby gives Saab Kockums direct access to the crew and simulations tools required for efficient testing and real-life training. The shipyard has an excellent infrastructure with over one kilometer of quay facing the perfect proving ground, the shallow and demanding Baltic Sea. The final assembly hall can facilitate production of up to four submarines simultaneously. Heavy labor work and repetitive tasks have been automated and the work process optimized. Grinding 40-kilometer hull and steel parts per submarine is no pain for a robot. One of the most powerful plate rolling machines in the world bends the thick steel plates into perfect cylinders that will form the hull sections. An advanced semi-automated milling and boring machine prepares the surfaces for precision welding to ensure that all joints can handle the extreme pressure at great depth. It is also used for preparation of surfaces to ensure precision alignment of equipment like shafts, masts, and engines. Frames are attached to the hull using a unique purpose-built submerged arc welding robot that allows for the simultaneous dual side welding of frames to subsections with precision. Activities that used to take up to five weeks now only take days. Over the last four years, important investments have been made in robots and heavy machinery. But above all, we constantly invest in people and competence to establish the most advanced submarine factory in the world.
Once the steel plates have been rolled and welded into hull sections and the frames attached, the sections are welded together to form the different main hull sections of the submarine. Typically, the pressure hull consists of about five main hull sections. Fully assembled platforms are then carefully inserted into the hull. This modular platform design allows for parallel design and testing of pre-assembled platforms, such as, for example, the engine room and the command center. Since the very beginning, over a century ago, we have been working in evolutionary steps, implementing new technology on existing classes, extending the hull with a new section, and adding new capabilities to an already existing submarine. Our evolutionary design process ensures that risks are minimized without limiting the innovation capability, such as the groundbreaking multi-mission portal in the bow providing a flexible payload capability that makes it easy for divers to enter and exit the submarine with equipment, while at the same time being large enough to allow launch and retrieval of unmanned underwater vehicles. New submarines will also come equipped with a new generation of fully integrated Cockham Sterling Air Independent Propulsion Systems, allowing them to stay submerged longer without being detected. These are a few of the secrets behind our success, but above all, we are proud shipbuilders. We are continuously pushing the limits of what current technology can deliver. What drives us? We constantly strive to create the perfect air-independent submarine, extremely resilient, undetectable, and a powerful deterrent. <laughs>